The FPS genre is arguably the most played type of game in the world. The demand for superbly violent, high-octane action has built franchise legends like Call of Duty and Halo and contributed to the historic rise of esports in recent years. The genre is almost always in demand, whether they're free or paid, and that's why we've put together this list of the best free FPS games available right now. Call of Duty, Battlefield, Medal of Honor, and more have all seen success in the FPS markets, although some more than others. These days, though, a lot of the best FPS games out there are actually free to play. The freemium business model has become trendy in the industry, so even AAA games are getting the free to play treatment. We've highlighted some examples of the best free FPS games you're able to download right now. Before then, though, you know what else is free? Slapping subscribe, and you don't even have to buy a skin. You can buy our skin if it helps us hit 10k subs, though. 10. No More Room in Hell No More Room in Hell is a source FPS horror game that was named Mod of the Year in 2011 by PC Gamer magazine. Despite it being over a decade later, it's still one of the best free horror and FPS games out there. No More Room in Hell features two different game modes, including Objective, which involves players trying to escape the map alive, similar to Left 4 Dead. Each map features a set of randomised goals and routes, increasing the replayability that the game has. In the second game mode, Survival, players must defend specific sectors from increasing the aggressive hordes of zombies until a rescue vehicle arrives. As a co-op source game, No More Room in Hell delivers precisely what most players will expect. It hasn't got the kind of player base that Left 4 Dead has, but it does deliver similar gameplay that will keep you and your friends entertained for hours. There's even a sequel coming out that will feature the iconic house from Night of the Living Dead, and oh my Barbara, we've never wanted anything more in life. 9. Planetside 2 FPS MMO games are in fashion recently. Being one of the first of its genre, Planetside 2 hosts the biggest shooter-based PvP battles in history. It even has a Guinness World Record to its name. The battle that won them the award featured over 1,283 players participating in a single battle in real time on the same map. That's what Planetside 2 is all about. It features three different factions in constant conflict over the shared map. Players get the option to specialise in different classes and level up to unlock additional weapons, all in the name of seizing zones and territory from the two opposing teams. In terms of pure PvP gameplay, Planetside 2 is one of the most impressive FPS games ever released. You actually feel like you're taking part in a full-scale war when you play, rather than a random match-made skirmish. Even if you do just feel like Matt Damon in that scene in Saving Private Ryan in your first few matches. Mother, I don't want to play anymore, please come pick me up. 8. Quake Champions Quake Champions is an action-packed, fast-paced FPS arena shooter that probably deserves a little better. Much like previous entries in the series, it's dominated by vertical-based rocket jump gameplay. Players get to choose between a roster of champions featured in the game, including Doomguy and BJ from Wolfenstein, each with their own unique abilities, skills, and a plethora of different weapons and explosives. The matches are fast-paced and not for the faint of heart, with a very steep learning curve to boot. That being said, the title does have a very dedicated fanbase, and there's a reason for that. It's pure, unadulterated fun, especially once you start to get the hang of the mechanics. Quake Champions is an acquired taste. The frantic gameplay lends itself to players more accustomed to hectic, fast-paced combat rather than slow and strategic gameplay. For those who are fans of arena shooters, the game has a lot to offer, even if it's still somehow in early access after all this time. 7. Paladins Right, you can do this. Let's not say Paladins is Overwatch for poor people. Oh, wait, oops. Paladins was released for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch in 2018, meaning you have access to the hero shooter no matter what you're playing on, and the same goes for your friends too, thanks to crossplay. Just as well, too, because Paladins is an absolute blast to play. The game is set in a unique world that blends sci-fi with mythology. In this world, two primary factions are fighting over different beliefs regarding how magic should be used. One side wants it to be kept for a select few, while the other believes the magic should be used for the greater good. In terms of gameplay, Paladins is a 5v5 tactical team-based shooter. 
Each player picks a unique champion, similar to Overwatch or Rainbow Six Siege, and then fights over various stylish maps and different game modes. Paladins is a gem in the free-to-play FPS genre that might not be as popular as it once was, but you owe it to yourself to give it a try. 6. Team Fortress 2 Team Fortress 2 is easily a Hall of Fame free FPS game. Despite the fact that updates have slowed down over the years, it's still incredibly popular and regularly breaks into the Steam Top 10 for active player count. TF2 might not look like a serious game, but there's a dedicated section of the fanbase that takes it very seriously. Each of the pickable characters is overstylized with their own looks and personality, although you probably already know that. Primarily, the two teams on the map are battling over combat-based objectives. Given the focus on character abilities rather than just pure gun skill, Team Fortress 2 is deceptively tactical. You wouldn't realise that if you just jumped into a random game though. If you're looking for a casual, silly and fun free-to-play FPS that still has a competitive edge for those who want it, TF2 is easily the best free shooter out right now that meets all of those criteria. You'll have more hats than odd job after walking into a costume shop with a buy one get one free offer by the end of it though. 5. Destiny 2 Destiny has had a shaky history, with internal conflict resulting in dramatic changes being made to the original game just before it was released. The sequel didn't fare much better, with Activision breathing down Bungie's neck. Since splitting from Activision though, Destiny 2 has become the definitive free massive multiplayer online FPS for all systems. While a lot of the game is locked behind the Beyond Light paywall, the free version gives you access to an expansive campaign that serves as a way to ease yourself into the universe. You'll get to pick your class from either a Warlock, Hunter or Titan and experience most of the planets and enemies that Destiny has to offer. If you're a fan of the sci-fi FPS MMO gameplay, you can upgrade to the regular edition to unlock all the extra content added since Destiny 2 was first released. If you just want to dick around in space and watch numbers fly out of aliens while you enjoy Bungie's tight gunplay, this is the free FPS for you. 4. Valorant Is Valorant the CSGO killer many thought it would be before launch? Not quite, at least so far, but it has poached some of the game's biggest names for itself, so there must be something to it. Valorant is a hero shooter crossed with a squad shooter, making it something of a mesh between Overwatch and CSGO. It maintains the hit-based fire shooting mechanic that allows Counter-Strike to stand out as an FPS, but it blends that with unique abilities and skills to bring an extra level of tactical gameplay to your matches. If you're looking for a more stylized and slightly more intricate version of CSGO, then Valorant is a good alternative free FPS that has a pretty bright future ahead. If you ever find yourself considering buying some of the skins that cost as much as a mortgage though, you may want to hire a financial advisor who will hopefully show you the back of their hand. 3. Call of Duty Warzone Warzone is killing it right now. It took the Battle Royale genre by storm when it first released, and that momentum has not slowed down one bit. Somehow, despite all of the blatant hacking and stuff. If you're one of the few people that haven't played it yet, it follows the usual BR premise of dropping you and your team into the map via a flyover. From there, you scavenge gear on the ground, loot and try to be the last ones standing. However, what sets Warzone apart is that it tries its best to eliminate RNG from your gameplay. Rather than solely relying on weapons you find, players can call in preset classes using currency you find out in the world. This currency is also used to buy your teammates back when they die, as well as to acquire the Warzone equivalent of killstreaks. This allows Warzone to be a more mature version of the BR genre and a far cry from the likes of Fortnite. If you're tired of the building, llamas and the obnoxiously bright colours, then you need to play this game. 2. Apex Legends Speaking of Battle Royale games, Apex Legends is a middle ground between the grit of Warzone and the bright, character-based nature of Fortnite. It's one of the best FPS games out there, and its connection to Titanfall also makes it an amazing alternative while we wait for a third game. When it was first released, Apex Legends was considered to be the pinnacle of Battle Royale gameplay. While it lost that momentum over time, the Steam release as well as active support from Respawn both pushed it back into the limelight. It's not often that a hero-based BR comes along, and it's even rarer that it's done right, but Apex Legends pulls it off wonderfully, and it's only just getting started. 
Whether you want to play as a robot with a mean left hook, an edgy anime villain if he was a binge eater, or basically Ryan Reynolds, Apex Legends is brilliant fun. You will get slapped around though. Apex's players tend to snort G Fuel like oxygen, so expect to see Crouch spamming gremlins hop skipping around the place like cracked out grasshoppers before long. And at number one, Counter Strike Global Offensive. Whether it was a good idea to make CSGO free to play is an argument you can have all day. What matters is that it is, meaning you have easy access to one of the biggest FPS games ever made. If you've never played or watched CS before, then you might find that the game feels a bit outdated. The graphics aren't exactly cutting edge and the gameplay can come off as clunky and maybe a tad slow, especially if you're coming from a modern FPS game like Warzone. Don't let that put you off though. There's a reason why CSGO is one of the most popular esports of all time. The level of tactical depth in the game is unlike anything you are going to find in any other FPS, although that means there is a steep learning curve. Whether you're trying to learn recoil patterns, map layouts, the in-game economy, the meta or grenade spots, you can expect to spend serious amounts of time training yourself on the more nuanced areas of CSGO. CSGO is a hardcore FPS, but once you get into it, you could quickly lose thousands of hours, so make sure you clear your calendar before you download it. And also maybe disconnect your credit card from your Steam account so you don't end up trying to auction off your nan for weapon skins. Mother, I've sold grandmother again. Please, can I have the shiny Kenefe? And there you have it, there's our 10 best free FPS games. As ever, we pass the question back to you, my young Valchlings. Do you agree with the list? Do you disagree? Is there any other list that you've played? Sound off in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. It's all massively helpful in our journey to 10,000 subscribers on the Cultured Vultures YouTube channel. Please check out all the other social medias on screen now, including the website, culturedvultures.com, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. But until then, until then, cool.